Hello Reefers, Aquarium Lovers and Hobbyists. My name is Jeremy Wade and I am your Canadian Reef Master. And today we're looking at how I maintain a small nano tank that doesn't have a protein skimmer. As many of you know who are in the reef hobby, protein skimming is essential for maintaining the reef's health. However, in smaller tanks, we don't always have room for a protein skimmer. This will lead to increase in organic waste and protein substances in the water that the coral or fish will produce. This increase in organic waste will lead to uh, different algae growth, as well as different issues such as dinoflagellates and cyanobacteria, which we don't want in the reef. For many years, I could not afford to buy protein skimmers as they were quite pricey and I didn't have room on many smaller tanks to put protein skimmers. There was some hang-on skimmers available, however they were not very good and they usually ran about $200. So I've looked at methods of protein skimming that would not cost any money other than the equipment that I have and I came up with this method. We will often use this method in larger reef aquariums. It is called bubble scrubbing. The oxygen that is placed into the water and the bubbles have a charge that bind to the protein, resulting it to raise to the surface of the water where it will enter the overflow box and go down to the sump and be mechanically removed by the filter sock or some poly floss. Now I've modified this in a smaller nano tank such that I'm able to cause the same effect resulting in the protein rising to the top of the surface and being removed. I take my power heads and bring them up out of the water creating bubbles in the tank. On one of the power heads I cut some nice floss or a sponge to fit around the power head. I will then also raise this power head out of the tank so that it also creates bubbles. These bubbles will bind to the protein or different algae in the tank that I've removed from the glass and it will accumulate on the top and be pulled into the sponge filter where I can remove the sponge later and have it all of the protein removed from the tank that I have skimmed. This will cause the tank to be crystal clear and the surface will have no more slick slime on it because often you'll see an increase in protein buildup on the surface of the water. You can see that here in the video. You can also see the protein being pulled into the, pro uh, into the floss, which I am able to remove. Before you do this, however, make sure you do clean the glass and make sure that algae has been removed, as the algae and the protein both will be removed. Here's a hyperlapse video of this process and you can see the brown line in the sponge increase as the process goes on. Now I do this for one or two hours each week and it keeps the tank very nice and clean. As I don't do too many water changes with my tanks, I like to just top the water up and and every once in a while maybe do a water change if I feel that maybe I need to replace some of the minerals in the tank. I will dose the tank accordingly to tests that I do and make sure that in this process you're also checking your nitrates and phosphates and maintaining them within range. I hope this information helps those who are starting nano tanks and are doing it on a budget. This method is excellent and allows you to spend some money on your coral rather than expensive equipment. Now if you like this video and other reef videos or other hobby videos that I do, make sure that you check out my channel and like, comment, and subscribe.